Hello my dear family members, everyone wants to win $10,000 along with a job offer. Yes, I am talking about TCS Code Vita. Today, I will share with you a coding question which was asked on 2022 TCS Code Vita round 1. So let's see what is the question. So the question is, here on earth, our 24 hours day is composed of two parts, each of 12 hours, each hour in each part has a corresponding hour in the other part separated by 12 hours. The hour essentially measures the duration since the start of the day part. For example, one hour in the first part of the day is equivalent to 13, which is 1 into the second, power, uh, second part of the day. Now consider the equivalent hours that are both prime numbers. We have three such instances for a 12 hour two part day that is 517, 719 and 1123. These are equivalent, right? So next uh, read that except two natural numbers D and P that is greater than one corresponding uh, respectively to number of hours per day and number of parts in a day separated by a space. D should be divisible by P meaning that the number of hours per part D by P should be a natural number. Calculate the number of instances of equivalent prime hours and output zero if there is no such instance. Note that uh, we require each equivalent hour in each part in a day to be a prime number right so for input uh, 24 uh, hours two per day uh, output is 3 how we have uh, already seen that that uh, 517 719 and 1123 those are three such instances which have a combination of prime number uh, right so we are counting that as 3 right so follow these constraints and the input format is given here. Single line consists of two space separated integers D and P corresponding to a number of hours per day and number of parts in a day respectively, right? So output format is this. Output must be a single number corresponding to the number of uh, instances of equivalent prime number as described above, right? So next example is uh, 36 hours three part day. So output is 2. How? Here is the explanation. So each part of the duration is 12 and the combination is this. So uh, consider 12, 12 and 12, right? So uh, 2, 14 and 26. This is not a possible combination because there are non-prime number. So 3, 15 and 27. This is also not a combination. Uh, but 5, 17 and 29 all are plus 12 right 5 plus 12 plus 12 right so this is a combination where we find we found the prime number combination right so this is a this is what we will count right and here 7 19 and 31 this is also a combination of prime hours so we will count that so we have counted two right so that's why we will add them so the output is two and for the input 49 and 7 49 hours and 7 per day output is 0 how because duration of each part day is 7 right so uh, at first divide uh, in 7 parts so 7 7 7 7 7 7 is equal to 49 so uh, each part we have to add plus 7 right so 2 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 so in this way we find that 9 plus 7 is equal to 16 which is not a prime number 3 plus 7 is 10 which is not a prime number 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 this is not a prime number 7 plus 5 uh, 7 plus 7 is equal to 14 which is not a prime number so we found there are no such uh, combination of prime hours so we will return 0 right so i hope you understood your task right assume that this is your exam hall and you are currently giving the exam so that it can be helpful right i have the solution in java and python as well but i am not giving the solution in this video because of uh, your preparation purpose right so that you can be prepared more right i will give you the solution in the comment box within few hours just start solving the question by yourself at first right and the last request is that please subscribe this channel and share this with your friends so that they can also be helpful right so thank you for today's session